This is Rise and Pray. Lives depend on it. And if you are joining us for the very first time, we welcome you on this morning. We thank you for kneeling with us at the feet of Jesus as we offer up our worship unto him, as we give him the fruit of our lips on this morning. We thank you if you are returning, a returning caller, a returning listener. We praise God for your commitment and your dedication in the mighty name of Jesus. This is Friday. On Friday, we do recaps of the week. So I will read the War Cry Focus and a little snippet of the focus for Monday through Thursday, and then we will begin our War Cry for today. On Monday, the war cry focus was confident in Christ Jesus. Chaos and confusion all around us can be quite disturbing. Keeping our hope and trust in the Lord always allows us to be open to the opportunity that chaos can bring. Tuesday's devotional reading was titled, Uniquely Gifted People. God has placed a unique gift inside of us all. These gifts are not for our own personal gratification, but for the upkeeping of God's people. Wednesday's war cry, remember the why. It's very easy to become thrown off track, losing focus of the true meaning behind our actions. Don't allow your why to become so cloudy that it's overlooked. And yesterday's war cry focus, ways to break bad habits. Bad habits are those repetitive ways which keeps us from going to the next level in God. Now is the time to exchange those bad habits for God-pleasing ones. And our war cry focus on today is repair my brokenness. Repair my brokenness. And the scripture reading this morning is coming from the book of Luke, chapter 6, verses 46 through 49. And I'm reading that from the Message Bible. Luke, chapter 6, verses 46 through 49. Why are you so polite with me, always saying, yes, sir, and that's right, sir, but never doing a thing I tell you? These words I speak to you are not mere additions to your life, homeowner improvements to your standard of living. They are foundation words, words to build a life on. If you work the words into your life, you are like a smart carpenter who dug deep and laid the foundation of his house on a bedrock. When the river burst its banks and crashed against the house, nothing could shake it. It was built to last. But if you just use in my words in Bible studies and don't work them into your life, you are like a dumb carpenter who built a house but skipped the foundation. When the swollen river came crashing in, it collapsed like a house of cards. It was a total loss. God, we bless your name on this morning, God. We are blowing kisses to you, God, for you are a great, big, mighty God. We worship you today, God, in spirit and in truth, God. We stand, God, in the place of surrenderance on this morning, God. We say not our will, but thy will be done, O oh God. As we are exchanging our will for your will on today, God, we're surrendering to you, God, allowing us to realize, God, that we're absolutely nothing and nobody without you, God, that we need you, God. God, in order to survive, God, we need you in our day-to-day -day activity.
activity, God, in order to thrive, God, in order to live. God, we need you, oh, God. So, God, we're inviting you in, God, as some are beginning their day, God. Some may even be ending their day, God. We invite you into this moment of stillness, God, this moment of quietness, oh, God. Take out those things in our minds, God, that distracts us, oh, God, from getting in your presence, God. Those things that distract our minds, oh, God, from concentrating on you, God. We're asking you, God, for this moment, God, will you silence those things in our minds, God, in the name of Jesus, that we will forget about everything else, God, and concentrate on you, God, because you are worthy of all of our praises, God. We thank you for your love on today, God. It is agape. It is unconditional, oh, God, we can we don't even deserve it, God. We can't work for it, oh God. We can't earn it, oh God. It's just because of who you are, God, that you love us, oh God, unconditionally, oh God. And we thank you for that love, God. We thank you for the power to forgive, oh God, for the way that you've given unto us to you, God. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, God, that we may come to you, God, in the spirit of humility, oh God that we may come to you, God, in the spirit of surrenderance, God, that we may come to you, oh God, and be able to forgive just like you forgive, oh God, and to embrace your forgiveness, oh God. Again, we, we don't deserve it, God, and we can't earn it, God, but you forgive us, God, because that's what your word tells us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So we repent of our sins on today, God. We ask that you will forgive Give us, God, everything that we've said, done, and thought, God, those things that called us to be separated from you, God. We're asking that you touch these stony hearts, God, according to the book of Ezekiel, oh God. Touch these stony hearts, oh God. Give us a tender heart, God, a fleshly heart, oh God, one that's able to be shaped, God, make and mold it, God, in your likeness and in your image, oh God, one that doesn't mind saying and crucify this flesh, God, because in it dwells no good thing, God. Your word says that because we are a child of Jesus Christ, we have nailed our worldly pleasures and desires to the cross. So we are thanking you this day, God, that you want to repair our brokenness, oh God. God wants to repair your brokenness. That is our war cry on today. God wants to repair your brokenness. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God, that repair is to put something damaged, broken, or not working properly into good condition or make it work again. We need to be repaired, God. Some of us are deeply damaged, God. Some of us are deeply broken, oh God. Some of us, oh God, we just fail to work properly, oh God. We've been distracted by life, oh God. We've been distracted by by people, oh God. We've been distracted by things, oh God, and we fail to work properly, oh God. Today, God, we're asking for your repair, God, that will you repair the brokenness in our hearts, oh God, the holes that are in our heart, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, even though we desire to be repaired, God, from the state of brokenness, God, we don't ever want to forget, God, that there's some times where we may have to start over, God, that the damage is too deep and it's too undone, God, that we may have to start from scratch, oh God. Help us not to look at that, God, as a major setback, God, but help us to look at it as an opportunity, God, to be glorified to you, for you to be glorified, oh God. As your words say, that the sickness, God, even the sickness in our minds, God, this sickness is not unto death, but unto the glory of God. So those things that we need to restart, God, we're thanking you, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to be tenacious, God. Help us not to lose hope, God, and give up, oh, God, in the process, oh, God, of rebuilding, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we're thanking you, God, that even as we begin to rebuild, God, and 
you begin to rebuild us, oh God. Help us to lay the solid foundation, oh God. The solid foundation of prayer, God. The solid foundation of reading your word, God. The solid foundation of diligently seeking your face, God. Help us to lay that solid foundation, oh God. It is a necessary process, God. If we are to rebuild a solid, firm thing, God, we must have a solid foundation, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, as we begin to rebuild, God, our lives as you build them all over again, God, we know, God, that we first must have a desire, God, a desire to be whole again, God, a desire to want to be whole in you, God, in the name of Jesus. We must make a decision, God, that we want to be whole in you, God, in the name of Jesus. We must first admit, God, too, that we have a need to be whole, God. That is with our desire, God, in the name of Jesus. And, God, we must have a plan, oh, God. We don't just begin building, God, without first weighing the cost, God, and seeing what the plan is going to be, God. So we will have a plan, God. We thank you for the vision, God. You said write the vision and make it plain, God. We thank you for the vision, God, that you've given unto us, oh, God. We thank you for the goals, God, that we have set in you, God, in the name of Jesus. Those are our plans, oh, God. So we're asking, God, in the name of Jesus, that as we have the desire, God, we make the decision and we plan, God, that we don't forget, God, to put it in action, oh, God. We cannot be whole if we don't do the work, God, in the name of Jesus. But today, God, we must, oh, God, we must cooperate with the building process. We must invite the new things, oh God. We must let go of the old things, oh God. We're inviting new thoughts on today, God. We're inviting new vocabulary on today, God. We're inviting new actions on today, God. We're inviting new friends, God, on today, God, and even a new atmosphere, God. We're inviting it on today, God, as you begin to rebuild our brokenness, oh God. We shall not be in the place God, where we cannot learn, God. You're forever teaching us, oh God. You're forever wanting us to study, God, to show ourselves approved. A workman need not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth, God. We must keep ourselves in the posture of being able to learn again, God, in the name of Jesus. And, God, even as we approach our crossroads, God, our crossroads in life, God, we must continue to reaffirm ourselves, God, that we have a desire to be repaired. It's going to get rough. It's going to look as if things are getting worse before they get better. But, God, we can stand on your word, God, and we can stand on the commitment, God, that we made, God, to allow you to break us, oh, God, to allow you to... To make us all over again, God. We know, God, that in that breaking, it's going to be hard, oh God. Help us, oh God. We do believe you, God. Will you help our unbelief, oh God, in the name of Jesus? Will you help us, God, not to be stubborn, oh God, because it it is our stubbornness, God, that also makes things seem worse, God, before they get better, God. But then we also understand that some things must get worse, oh God, before they get better. It is in that worse, oh God, that you reshift us, oh God. Our thinking reshifts back to you, oh God. It is in our worse, God, that we surrender to you, God, and allow us, we allow you you to make and break us, oh God, and rebuild us, oh God, because we realize, God, that we're not doing this alone, God, and we realize that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, and we realize that our hands are blessed because of you, God. We realize, God, that we are the light of the world, God, that we realize, God, that our words must be seasoned with salt, God. We realize, oh God, our worth in you, God. 
God. We are royalty, God. We are more than a conqueror, oh God. We're thanking you today, God, as we're crucifying this flesh, oh God, as we're allowing our lives to be rebuilt in you. God, we thank you and we do praise you, oh God. You get the glory out of all of our lives. It is in your mighty name that we do pray and we thank you, God. We decree and declare all these things to be done and so shall it be unto the glory of God. It is doing our worst state. We come to realize our ability to control the situation has